Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to use Axis library um, with JavaScript. Okay, the Axis is a HTTP requesting and posting uh, library which we will use in JavaScript uh, in this video. Okay, so first of all, I have a folder. In the folder, I have a JavaScript file and an HTML file. Okay, there is nothing inside these files. Let's try something there. Okay, and the JavaScript file. Let's import the JavaScript file in our HTML file. And I will just try test.js. I have imported that there. Okay, so to use the Axis library inside the JavaScript, so it is the usage thing. Oh, first of all, you should install it. Okay, for the installation, we need node.js package. Okay, so let's come to the cmd command and I will check the node version. Okay, I have already installed the node.js. Okay, if you didn't install, so you should come here and just node.js install it from here okay and also you can use the cdn link of this okay in using js delivery cdn link this is the cdn link that you can use and here you can install that uh, but i have already installed node.js so i will just use that and i will come here to this uh, folder to the command line and i will just write first of all uh, npm init and it means initialize and yes so it will initialize it with the package.json file okay package.json file has created so now we will install npm uh, access npm install access uh, first i will save in the folder access let's install it yeah that has installed so let's check it C node modules and axis that has created okay so we can uh, import that in our JavaScript file in our HTML file okay here directly we can import that and also you can uh, use uh, in our JavaScript file to import that so what I will import it here script uh, node modules and axis this file act access that means that js so after importing this so now let's use it how to use it uh, we will just come here we will just test with these apis okay fake apis so first of all uh, we will uh, for example uh, get some users from this api so let's write here access dot git so we don't need this because we already imported that in our html file so I will just remove it or comment it. Axis .git. So here we will write our URL. So let's come here and we will just copy this URL. We will use it here and also we will use this one. Users page number two. Okay. Slash users and page is equal to two page is equal to two okay we will use, so it will get uh, this data to us okay this data that we have okay this list of data and let's come here after that we will use uh, promises if you don't know about promises so it is a good concept you should learn it so let's write that then we will get a result and let's console that okay console.log result and if there was any error catch that error console.log error so let's check it okay so let's run it let's import run this file and let's come here to the console console see we got this data let's check it uh, the our request failed with the source code yeah we got an error where is the error so let's check it so we should add here api and slash users let's save it let's refresh the page yeah we got the data see this is the data that we got those are the users that we have see id and these are the users that we got 
so to just specifically print this data so we will write result the data the data so it will print just the records for us we will write something like this dot data dot data let's save it and let's refresh it see we got just the records okay also we can pass it to our function for example let's create function handle data we will pass the data to this we will for example console it uh, or print on the user interface just print the data okay let's call handle data and we will pass result the data uh, we will just pass result the data the data okay the data so it will pass the information with that see we got the data page number two per page six total twelve so this is the data the record that we got so it was all about the usage of the axis with the javascript i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching